special day at 11.45 a.m. with staff having professional development in the afternoon. Schools are closed on Friday for the MSEA convention. For students enrolled in semester one or full year AP courses, while AP exams will not be until May, the deadline to register and pay is Friday, October 28th. If a student plans to take an AP exam, they need to complete two steps. First, they need to indicate that they are taking the exam in their College Board AP Classroom account. Then they need to go to My Payments Plus and pay the fee for the exam. The regular cost of each exam is $97 and the cost for farm students is $20. There is a $40 late fee for registrations after Friday, October 28th. Semester 2 sign-ups will take place in February. For questions, please contact the testing coordinator, Ms. Cook. It's that time of the year again. Please take a moment this week during flex or any of your spare time to fill out the trust adult form. The trust adult form only takes a minute to fill out and can be found in your class of Google Classroom at the very top of the page. Please fill this form out by Friday, October 28th. Representing from the United States Coastal Guards will be visiting JMB on Tuesday, October 25th during lunch shifts. Interested students should stop and explore the opportunities the Coastal Guards has available. As part of Maryland College Application Week, on Thursday, we will have College T-Shirt Day. Wear a t-shirt of your favorite college. Mock trial will begin shortly. If you are interested in joining the team, please join our Google Classroom to remain in the loop. The class code is T-J-I-U-H-K-K. -K. Drama Club needs backstage hands. If you are interested in helping out, please come to one of our meetings on Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday or see Ms. Dixon in the library. On Tuesday, October 25th from 5 to 9, there will be a Chipotle fundraiser for the JMB class of 2023. In sports, the 3A defending Maryland State soccer champions defeated the 2A defending Maryland State champions last night 2 to 1. Luke Dunn scored his 20th 20th and 21st goal on the year. The boys team wishes the girls team good luck on Monday and will start their playoff defense of their title late next week. Last night, Wicomico County Stadium Lady Clipper soccer romped to a 4-0 victory in front of a large and boisterous crowd led by a stingy defense and no-nonsense tough tackling midfield. The Clippers finish their unbeated regular season 12 and 0. Scores on the night were Briggs, Matthews, and Wilkins. Boys soccer beats Parkside 2 to 1. Girls soccer won against Parkside 5 to 0. Great job, Clippers. There will be a softball interest meeting held on Monday, October 24th in E24. Um, yeah. If you're uh, unavailable to attend the meeting but want to learn more, contact Ms. Feeney or Ms. Bowers at. Support the class of 2025 by purchasing your friends or staff members a spooky fall candy gram for $2 starting Monday, October 24th to Friday, October 28th in the school store. Grams will be delivered on Monday, October 31st during Flex. The Fall Blood Drive will be held at j &B on Wednesday, November 2nd in the wrestling room. Donors must be 17 or older. Parent permission is not required, nor does a parent need to be present when donating. See the sign-up link in your school email or your class of Google Classroom. Good morning, JMB. We are here to represent the student recognition team with Coach Sullivan and Mrs. Morrow. Every month, five students who've been nominated by their teachers are going to be entered into a raffle. And today we have our first five winners. Hey, congratulations, Trevin Whitelock and Crew Shelton. And also congratulations to Denasia Purnell, Robert Ward, and Abigail Salidas, you will be called down by your guidance counselor and you will receive a prize for being the student of the month in the raffle. Hey. Good morning, Clippers. I just wanted to also give a shout out to our bleacher creatures who did an excellent job last night. 
at the sh uh, at the stadium to cheer on both the boys and the girls soccer team so i appreciate that as well as everyone who dressed and wore orange yesterday uh there was a sea of orange so i enjoyed that and hopefully you enjoyed getting those prizes at lunch if you had orange hopefully you were able to get a prize we're going to do something similar next week on the 26th which i believe is wednesday it's going to be a pink day uh for breast cancer or well awareness and we want to do something similar so be planning what you will wear next Wednesday for pink day in recognition of breast cancer or well awareness let's have a great day on the ship clippers and that's all we have today for you GMB have, have a, a great, great day, day GMB, GMB.